Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos. I'm going to start this project off with this little chick that I got at Dollar Tree. And the first thing I'm going to do is give this a good coat of white paint. You can use chalk paint or you can use acrylic. Here I'm just using acrylic paint. Once I have him all coated in white and it is all dry, I am going to add a coat of this yellow paint. And this is also acrylic paint. And I think it's the color Marigold. And I did the whole thing, all the edges, the sides, the back and the front with this color. And I actually really like the way that this color looks. Once I have that all done and it's all dry, I have this little base that I got at, I want to say, Joann's, I believe. It's just a little beveled piece of wood. I'm going to paint that with that same color, marigold. And then I'm going to let that dry. Once that was all dry, I'm going to give that a coat of white paint. I'm just going to go over it with one good coat of white paint. and then let that dry thoroughly also. Once that was dry, I'm going to sand off some of that white paint around all the edges and on top and bring back that yellow color through. So I'm just gonna use my little sander and just sand until I can start seeing the yellow coming through and that you can see it. And there you can see the yellow coming through. And now I'm going to do the same thing on my little chick. I'm going to start sanding it until I start seeing the white come through. So I'm just going to kind of sand them until they pull the color that I painted behind through to the front. So I'm going to go through the chick and I'm going to do the whole front of him. And around all the edges, making sure that I pull out that white color. Now you can see where I've got them fully sanded now and you can see the color from before coming through. Now I'm going to take some hot glue and a little bit of wood glue and I'm going to glue my little chicky right to the center of this plaque. And then I'm going to let that fully dry. Next, I'm going to take some glue and then I'm going to glue down some Spanish moss all around the base. I'm just kind of gluing it into place and then doing the same thing on the back side. And then I'm just going to cut off whatever wiry little pieces are hanging out. Just kind of give it a little bit of a trim. Spanish moss always makes such a mess. But I love the way that it looks. Next, I made this little swag just using some flowers that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I cut them to size and then I just wire tied them in the center. And I'm just going to glue that right to the front of the chicky. And I'm just going to hold that until it sets. Then I took those same flowers and I just cut a bunch of the heads off of them. And I'm just going to glue those in the center to fill up that gap in between the two pieces of the swag. So just kind of randomly adding these little flower heads. And these are right off the same picks. And just set those all in the front so that it's all filled in. And look how cute that is. Next, I am going to trim off some more of this Spanish moss. Then I took this fabric strip and cut it long enough for a bow. And I'm going to wrap that right around the chickie's neck and then tie it into a bow. Just pull it kind of tight and then just tie it and then fix my bow. Pull off any excess strings. And then I'm going to cut the tails down to size so that they're not just falling all over the place. It's kind of arranging it how I wanted it and then trim those tails and then I did add a eye to him and I just did a black teardrop and then put a white dot in the center and I really 
liked the way it looked without the eye, but then I do like it with the eye, so I'm not really sure how I feel about the eye, but I left it there, and I think that you guys can decide which you like better. If you want to add your eye, you can. If not, you don't have to, but I think it looks cute both ways. I think this turned out absolutely adorable, and I love it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope it inspires you to make one, and as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.